What is up, Dinesh here, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about books. So what kind of books help me a lot through life? And this is gonna be a ongoing series. So I will cover more and more videos about um, personal development, self-improvement, money, business, mindset, all of those topics, because those are questions I get asked regularly by friends, family, students. And yeah, why not just do it on YouTube? Simply said, I won't cover any books I didn't like, or it's not gonna be like a review if the book is good or not. Every book I'm gonna cover in those videos is a must read. This time it's about habits and habit building because this is really the fundamental of your success, of your life, or of whatever you want to do. Because it's just like a such an important part of your life. And I think it's one of the most important things what people don't think of too much. And yeah, I'm gonna cover exactly this in the video now. Habits are the small things you do every day without even thinking about it. So when you wake up, you brush your teeth, for example, when you go in the car, that's, which is a very good example. So first, like when you learned how to drive a car, you have to think about everything. It's like going in, changing gear, um, hitting gas, hitting the brakes. But over time, over time, your brain just gets used to it and it just goes on autopilot, which it goes about everything, not only driving. And those are your behaviors you do subconscious. So you are not aware of them anymore because you are just like in routine over time. So habits are really the foundation of success and of your life. And the really cool thing is, if you are aware of your habits, then they can work very well for you. Of course, on the other side, they can work very well against you. So it's either you really help yourself with habits or you really destroy yourself with habits over time. And that is very, very important. Habits don't have an effect like immediately. Like if you start smoking now, you don't feel anything, just a bit of coughing. And if you eat like, um, junk food, whatever, or too much sugar, you don't feel it immediately. But if you do it like over time, every single day, then it starts compounding. And the same goes for good habits. So if you start exercising, for example, or start eating healthy, you don't feel any difference at the moment. But over time, over weeks and months, it makes a huge difference. And then over years, it just changes your life completely. And on that, you can really see, just on the habits of the person, how their life is gonna be like projected in the future. Habits are really like an unstoppable train. It's very hard to get them moving, so to establish a habit, but it's really, really hard to quit an established habit already. So for example, if you smoke every day after eating lunch, for example, then it's very hard, like it's even hard to quit smoking for 99% of people. Um, and that's just because it's so, so deep in your brain. And the books I'm gonna talk about, they go very, very deep into those habits. So how they form, what they are, how they structure, why you do what you do. And if you want to basically understand your own behavior and you want to change it and use it for your benefits, then just read them. Let's start with the first book, Power of Habit. This book is just incredible. So why we do what we do, and how to change. This book goes really deep into the psychology and the anatomy of habits. And yeah, just like the title says, why we do what we do and how to change. Pretty self-explanatory, right? So without spoiling the book, because you're going to read it, let me talk about what is the main part of the book or the main concept. So a habit basically consists of three parts or of three triggers, basically. It's first your cue, so something that um, triggers the habit, um, like a certain time or many other things I'm gonna talk about later. Then the action, so what are you going to do? And then the reward. So yeah, what your brain gets from it, some dopamine highs and stuff like this. Let me explain. Let's say you have the habit of eating chocolate when you are stressed, which is something that many people do. Um, first you have the trigger, so some sort of stress you feel some tension is going on and then you are really like, okay, I need this sugar craving basically. So you eat it, that's the action. And then yeah, your brain goes on fire because of all the sugar. So it releases tons of dopamine and that in the next time just strengthens the cycle. So next time when you're stressed again, you grab the chocolate, you eat it, your brain gets on fire and happens all over again. Let's have a different example, which is um, a positive kind of habit, for example. Let's have a different habit, so like a more positive one. Let's say each time when you go to bed, for example, you start reading a book 
and the trigger this time is not some stress or some emotional state your trigger this time is the time so always before you go to bed you start reading so reading is the action and then yeah you have your reward you learn something new or it just feels good usually when you read before you go to bed it's not some um, science stuff i mean i guess it could be different um, but it's something more that uh, just relaxes you brings it down and makes it easier to you for sleep and that's the reward already and over time this just compounds and feels really nice so what are the cues charles duick the author is talking about in the book so you have location for example whenever you start going to work or when you just come home could be anything when you are waiting on the train you go through instagram something like this you have the time so when you just wake up when you go to bed those times are very critical because they are just like everyone has some sort of morning and bed ritual and it's very important that those are in control or we are conscious of those then there is as i said earlier already emotions so um, if you feel good if you feel bad if there's something going on if you have um, anxiety if you have stress whatever it is you have a certain action what you usually do you have other people so for example if you meet this specific person you start to smoke you start to do whatever kind of thing and you have last immediate action so you do this after doing this so for example uh, i try to establish this habit right now i start filming after i take a shower and just that just gets hard wired in my brain or i have this certain tea before i make my videos so when i drink this tea I'm already like my brain just gets kind of in the mood of yeah making videos for example or I have like specific music I was listening to um, before going to the gym all of those kind of things and they help a lot so power of habit is more like the psychology and the anatomy behind habits and it's a very very good fundamental book if you are if you haven't read so so much about habits already that's a very very good point to start next book is going to be Atomic Habits by James Clear. That's not James Clear. Here's James Clear. This book is a powerhouse and I don't know like I exaggerate probably on every book I'm gonna cover in all of those videos but it's they just are too good. Okay let me stay professional here. So this book covers the temp topic of habits a bit different it's much much more practical and less theory which does not say that theory is bad or something like this but it's just like much much more okay take this step this step take action here this is what you can do it's much much more practical and not like about psychology too much even though it explains habits very well as well of course um, but this book basically summarizes everything there is about habits and it's also based on power of habits probably almost everything that comes out is based on power of habits because that was one of the first one and Charles Drake is just very very good in explaining how this works. So in this book James Clear really talks about very very tiny small changes that then over time lead to massive results. So let me just read the quote. Small incremental changes will lead to massive results. By the way, I'm not sure if that's an actual quote of the book or it's just my notes, but it goes in that direction. So in Atomic Habits, James Clear really talks about how you can change your habits or how you can create really create new habits. So there are um, there's lots of it, of course, but I'm gonna give you one example of the book and then yeah, the rest is up to you. So there are four tips if you want to change your or add some new habits into your life. Make it easy, make it obvious, make it attractive and make it rewarding. And this really goes all in hand with his model, which is very similar, but a little bit different than the one from Charles Duhigg. So the cue, action and reward, because James Clear has four steps in there, but I don't need to spoil it because you will just read it. I hope so. And one thing that he talks about in his book that I really, really like is that you fall to your level to your systems and not your goals, which means that like, everyone has big goals, everyone has big dreams, everyone wants to reach lots of stuff, but most people don't have the system in place. So the daily routines, the daily 
activities, other triggers and um, your environment also helps you a lot. So if you have like a bunch of chocolates on your table, of course you're gonna eat more chocolate then. If you just replace your environment, just instead of putting chocolate there, put some fruits and whatever else there. It just makes a huge difference already. And there are very, very good examples on your own behavioral change in this book. So yeah, that's it for my first book review, book suggestion, whatever you wanna call it. Let me know if you like this format or if I should do something else. And of course, what kinds of books or what kinds of topics you want me to cover, everything what you want. I will have links in the description below, so check them out below there. You help me a lot with that because um, I will get a very small commission if you buy the book. You don't pay anything extra for you. It's just the same. It's going to be on Amazon. No problem. And yeah, since now you don't have any excuse in the world because you are locked at home. 99% of you guys just read it if you want to improve your life. I mean, I'm not your dad, so it's up to you. But if you want to improve your life, which is the title of the video, so I guess you want to do it, then you find the link in the description below. And as always, I see you in the next one.